Hello everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how to get the most performance out of your dedicated graphics. If you have a PC or a laptop that has a dedicated and integrated graphics, that means you have basically two GPUs. Um, but default, you don't use the integrated graphics that well, or even not at all. As you can see, all my tasks that's required a GPU is using my dedicated graphics, except also one, that's my anti-malware, because that's how it's Windows set. Um, so as you can see, GPU 1 is the, my 1080, uh, my 1070, I mean, GTX 1070, um, which I run games on. So basically, as you can see, you're recording a game. Um, OBS will like take 20 to 10%. This is pretty high though, but like a big margin of your performance out of um, your game. So when you have, for instance, like 90 FPS, you will have 70 FPS. Uh, to fix this issue, we're just going to set um, some tasks to your integrated graphics. You can do that with any task. So with OBS, we will not do it with OBS, but with Google Chrome. Because as you can see, if you open Google Chrome, go to YouTube and just launch a video. Let me quickly go to my channel. Uh, so I don't get copyright claimed. Yes. There we go. Random video, a long video would be nice. A uh, long video, whatever. No one, no one sees this. And for greater margin, I'll run it on this. Okay, so as you can see, Google Chrome is video decoding and using 6% of your GPU, of your dedicated graphics, not integrated, dedicated graphics. As, of course, as, as it loads, because it loads and it buffers, um, you will not see it, that it uses dedicated graphics because then it's the, the video decoding is done for that period uh, but as you can see now it's using four to five percent um, so what we're gonna do if you want to set a certain task on your dedicated graphics you're gonna press display in the window search or with the configuration panel go to display then scroll all the way down should be here graphic settings uh, as you can see i already have this desktop windows manager on there um, but if you want to do it for Google Chrome, just go to your task manager again. If you don't know how to open it, just go task manager and there it is. Boom. Um, I'm going to get this a little bit bigger. So you're going to want to select Google Chrome. If it, there we go. Google Chrome. Just expand it. Just click any task. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the one that's actually using the resources. Open file location, find the executable of Chrome, then copy the path, control C, close this, press on browse, paste it into your browse menu, select the task Chrome as the application that you've just searched, then press add. And so system default, my system default is my 1070 that has been set by the NVIDIA drivers. As I don't think I can show you, but whatever. My system default, there we go, is my 1070, because that's what everyone should use, right? Uh, the, the, I mean, doesn't, here. Yeah, wait, no, wait, that's just something else. Uh, where is it? It was somewhere in here, but, oh, is it this? No. Yeah, I think it is this. This is a default. It was somewhere in there. I don't know exactly where. Excuse me for that. Was it here? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's defaultly set on your um, on your dedicated on your dedicated graphics. So you go to options, then you see system default. High performance GPU is my NVIDIA GTX 1070, and my power saving GPU is my HD graphics. Uh, 530 which is the integrated graphics of your cpu so if you set it to high performance it will use the dedicated if you set it to power saving it will use the integrated so then we're going to press save and now you see google chrome power saving um when you will see that it still uses the um there we go the g1 gpu1 which is a 1070 but if we close go chrome open it again we should see wait, youtube that's too fast. Can I just do this? There we go. 
So as you can see right now, Google Chrome using GPU zero video decoding. So this is the GPU zero. Um, there is various of numbers of reasons to do this. Num reason number one, you will have more performance on your dedicated graphics, which you game on. Reason number two, it will probably use less power. So if you're like on a battery and you don't have like set this every time to like battery saving, I don't know if this actually does something, but I think it uses then the integrated. Um, but if, if you're too lazy to do that, you can just set all the tasks that you would normally use and set them on the integrated. Um, so yeah, it's not using anything right now because it's buffered, but if we hop, then you will see it's using 50% of my integrated graphics right now. Um, you can do that with Overwolf, um, NVIDIA, just search for the program um, via the settings that I did. You can do it for OBS as well, but of course I cannot show you because I have to restart the um, the application. So you just do this. This is the executable of OBS. Copy the path. Go to the settings menu. Go to browse. Classic app, by the way. Paste it. Enter. OBS executable at options power saving. Of course, I will not re restart my recording software because then it will stop. But um, yeah, that's quickly how to get like 10% easily if you're recording on the background or if you have like um, NVIDIA replay on uh, Shadow Play, I think it's called. Um, it's like free performance. So you're welcome. See ya.